A crucial question in strategy is what determines firm outcomes in terms of acquisition, dissolution and survival. In this paper we answer this question and elaborate on the extent to which the outcome is under top management control. Our findings highlight the importance of technology investments and we identify factors that make such investments possible and profitable. Our research started from a mystery. After combining information on entries and exits, the visual outcome of the research looks like any industry aggregating into the familiar inverted U-corn. However, we observed that substantial portion of the exits had a non-market explanation and that industry-specific physical resources were unable to protect firms from exit. Although the outcome looks predictable, our data on nano-level decision-making reveals that the industry life cycle theory is not sufficient in predicting what we witnessed. Our study explores the differences in characteristics of firms entering and exiting at different periods and the role of investments and business group membership in determining exit mode. We also quantitatively model the effects of investments, institutional shocks and business group membership on firm outcomes. Moreover, we model the firm's propensity to invest. Finally, we reflect on our findings with the institutional changes embedded in historical contexts. Based on our qualitative work, we identify technological investments and business group membership as factors increasing the likelihood of acquisition rather than dissolution as the exit mode. To provide more precision for our historical observations, we applied a competing risks model. The results confirm that technological investments are the most important determinant dividing exits into acquisitions and dissolutions. We also modeled investment decisions with a Cox model. We found that there is friction in investment decisions. The first investment requires more favorable circumstances than the second one. Moreover, we found that different resources become important as companies continue on the investment path. Changes in the historical context strongly affect the decision-making rationalities and selection criteria at the nano-level of industry revolution. Relative liberalism at the beginning of the industry history allowed wealthy individuals to preempt resources, which later froze the industrial structure both in terms of geography and power. Later on, Tightening regulation reduced the increase in entry opportunities created by the developing financial sector. At the same time, business group membership became essential for staying in the investment race. These results join earlier research on decision-making criteria and institutional evolution by showing how and why the decision-making rationalities and entrepreneurial opportunities vary both in terms of available options and risks, and likewise how these nano-level dynamics are aggregated into the level of the industry population and its evolution.